I'm gonna take them off because like the light like reflect so yeah. Hi there, it's Kobe. So my most viewed video on my channel is I try to make a chest binder. So um I thought that I would make a video all about chest binding. So first, what is chest binding? Chest binding and binding your chest is to flatten out your chest basically. Who bind their chests? Most often it is transgender people who were assigned female at birth, um, who experience body dysmorphia, who bind their chests. Other people who bind their chests are cosplayers and also I have met cis girls who bind their chests simply because they do not like how bigger breasts or yeah look like like how they look with like not a flat chest so before we get over to how to bind your chest um here's some stuff not to do when trying to, to bind do not bind with ace bandages it's extremely dangerous do not ever 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 bind using ace bandages or duct tape because ace bandages are made so that they kind of like tighten and when they tighten around your chest when you move after a while you can't breathe and it's extremely dangerous for your ribs your ribs can b break and also um duct tape like you can't really move around it when you are like binding with duct tape like you just don't thanks <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Um, out of breath. <laughs> you should never wear your binder for more than eight hours a day. Try to wear it as little as possible. Never ever ever sleep in your binder. This includes sports bras and also just like regular bras. You breathe differently when you sleep. So when you breathe and you sleep and you have this tight thing around your chest, you are not able to breathe properly. So now over to how to actually bind your chest. The first option is to buy a chest binder. You can buy chest binders online. These do not really sell them outside of the online world, at least that I have experienced. So you can buy a chest binder online. There are links in the bio or the description. There are links in the description. You have to buy a good quality one if you're gonna buy one because the ones on eBay do not really work. But not that many people can afford buying a chest binder. Um, so there are like programs and stuff like that online and people who give out free chest binders there are a few links in the description for that as well but for the ones who can't really buy a bind online because if you get it in the post then maybe your parents will find out and maybe your parents aren't that accepting guess what you can make one yourself method one um i can show you that right now i'm just gonna strip down Ooh. Method one is to bind with a sports brass. As you can see, I am wearing sports brass right now. Um, I'm wearing two today. Oh, this is not really a sports bra, it's like a Calvin Klein bra. But I'm wearing two. Sometimes I wear one, sometimes I wear two, and sometimes I wear three. Depending on what ones that I wear, or like how I feel that day, what clothes I'm gonna wear, if I wear like layered clothes then it might be enough with just wearing only one all right sorry my camera died where was i right sports bras if you're bigger you can lay them but here's a sort of helpful tip i guess um what i have experienced is that wearing um sports bras that do not have like cups in them helps a lot because if you've seen some sports bras for example this is just an example h&m in the women's section um, they're like they're 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 like not just sports bras, but they are also sort of push up. So yeah, that helps. We oh, shoot. Okay, <laughs> I will now show you how to make your own binder. It's to strip down and remove that fabulous clothing of yours because you're now going to measure your chest. Try not to slap yourself with a measuring tool. Measuring tool? I don't know. So first you're gonna measure sort of like around your chest and then you're gonna like measure the height of your chesticles 
just add a few centimeters there because you want to make sure that you're covering everything and yeah that's just me trying to like am i trying to seduce the camera i have no idea it, it's weird yeah okay and then you lay out your fabric thing i'm very lucky and very happy that i found this white fabric because there was this one with like roses on it but i figured that white is better but yeah then measure and stuff <laughs> the length of your chest and then you take a pen and just like mark right there and then you do the same with the height of your chest and stuff and then you fold it over you do not actually have to fold it over if you find it easier to just like cut like straight line but no parts of me are straight so folding over haha <laughs> that was me like snap my fingers because that that was a really terrible joke but yeah just cut it and yeah okay so now you've got that and now you're gonna cut four holes at each side of it and unfortunately i'm not old enough to handle scissors and i cut myself but yeah i, I return with not only one band-aid on my finger but two because it feels weird if i only have it on like one finger but yeah just stab the fabric do not really stab the fabric but yeah then <laughs> when you have four holes on each side of the fabric then you're gonna take some thread and just like put put it like through the holes basically yeah so just, just do that okay so here like now i'm like yeah okay okay you, you see what i've done so <laughs> I tried to tighten, tighten, well, tighten it, um, but it looked sort of weird, but then I tied it, and guess what I did next, guess what I did next, oh my god, I turned it around, wow, this is such a great experience, a revolution, I don't know, and yeah, it worked, like, I got really surprised, like, it, like, it really freaking worked, and I was so happy, I still am happy, yeah. Also, when you're measuring around your chest, make sure to like remove a few centimeters because you're gonna tighten it. So yeah, just just do that, like five to ten centimeters, like five. Yeah, that should be enough. Another way you can make your own chest binder is, uh, for example, if you have those compression shorts, uh, those like sports working out shorts or leggings or something like tight, then you could chop off the legs, um, cut like a hole. In between and yeah put it on because you're normally the same size uh, around your waist and like your hips and thighs and stuff that's normally usually the same size as your chest size thing does that make sense sorry if it doesn't so yeah I hope this video helped a few of you guys out and if it did then yay be happy and bind safely safely wait is that a word but yeah you're awesome stay safe and eat drinkers and all hurt yourselves and i will see you soon i do this a lot but yeah i will see you in my next video like and comment and share and subscribe if you want to okay <laughs> bye by the way do you want to see my outfit oh shit this is my outfit yeah i will see you soon goodbye